Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the NADP Dogman Encounters in the West series, where I, Shay Michael Crisp, will be reading to you encounters and sightings straight from the NADP archive. But before we get into this terrifying encounter, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell for all future notifications. Now let's get started. This encounter comes from Lynn County, Oregon from an anonymous person. The date is March 2017. It was 2.30 a.m. and another night of not being able to sleep due to back pain. I was lying on my side reading when my very close by neighbor's motion detector light turned on. When it turns on, it lights up the entire side of my house. We have lived here nine years and I have never once seen anything walk past my bedroom window at night. Since I was facing my large bedroom window, the very bright motion detector light going off caught my attention. I looked up and saw the side silhouette of a dog man. I said, holy crap, it was walking past my bedroom window. I saw it from mid shoulders up. The shoulders were huge and its head was huge. It had pointed ears like a German shepherd dog and a long snout. Its mouth was slightly opened as I saw a large tongue that seemed to be lolling to the side of its mouth. When I saw this creature and spoke those words, I could swear that the thing slowed down, smirked, and then kept going. That's all I saw that night. Last week though, while in my bedroom again, I heard something huge land on the ground behind my bedroom wall. That wall has no windows. I heard deep, kind of raspy breathing. I started praying, pleaded the blood of Jesus over my house, grounds around it and all. I do this most nights, but sometimes I forget. I'm awake most nights until 3 a.m. or later due to having severe spine issues as well as fibromyalgia. We live in a lovely manufactured home community. There are lots of trees around here, and it's very close to the canals, large open fields, and woods. I know this is what I saw, but the fact that I saw it has left me amazed. Why is that when so many are also seeing them? I guess I just thought since I am in the house most of the time, due to my health, I would never see them. The space between my neighbor's house and ours is about 10 feet. My husband went outside weeks later once I got the courage to tell him that this had happened and measured the area by the window. That dogman had to be at least eight feet tall. What concerns me greatly is that no one in the police department or government will alert people to their existence. People are walking around feeling a false sense of security. I know I did. I won't even try to walk outside anymore. And yes, I have cautioned my neighbors, the ones with the security light. I can't think of any other details right now, but it's important for you to know that several years ago, a homeless woman was camping out down by the river here in Albany. She was found dead and her tent was really torn up. I believe the police report in the newspaper said she was torn up as well, but I honestly can't remember any of the details. To the best of my knowledge, no one was ever caught for that crime. This is a sleepy town, just over 50,000 people. We no longer get the newspaper, so I have no idea if this has happened again. I do know that a couple was down by the same area and saw a dog man. It really frightened them badly. I heard about that on another YouTube channel. I just want people to be aware so they don't go out at night anymore, especially near the river. But then, we're not near a river, and I saw one in the middle of the night. Thank you for reading this report and for doing all that you do to make people aware of what is really going on out there. If you'd like to read more of these Dogman Encounters, visit us on the web at www.NorthAmericanDogmanProject.com. Thanks for listening. Catch you on the next one.